Oh, no. All right, well. Hi, guys. Hello. Hey. I thought I was... Do it. We all say hello. Okay, hi. This is Kelly from the Bakersfield Bread. We are here tonight. Like and there's a lot of people around too. There Do the camera real fast. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> and first of all, we'd like to thank you for our first fan, our number one fan. You don't speak loud if you're here, Tim. Thank you for your comment. No doubt, we have an awesome fan. Not so That's right. <laughs> They're cool. Uh, the fan. Uh, hopefully you're watching, and you can leave as many comments as you want. Tell your friends. Thank you so Be much. Be sure to subscribe. Yes, and you did have a legitimate point. <laughs> down here. You did have a legitimate point. We purposely do not have a plot because we want this to be legit. When we just, our real life. We, are. we just want to share a little bit of Bakersfield. So yeah, totally criticize us more, a little bit more, and and we'll we'll explain why we do the things we do. And we'll get better. Okay. Yeah. And just keep getting better. It's true. Every day. And since you like the the Betty stories. We're not going to tell the story of Betty today because she got an even better one. Okay. She got an even Betty that I heard story. today. I have a Bettier story. No, this is a story from quite a while back and one night at dinner there's this guy named Herb and Herb comes down to dinner and he's in a really, really angry mood because his wife was not at the dinner table with him. So he leaves and then he comes back and he's in such a bad mood that he starts taking silverware off the table and he starts trying to stab the old ladies that were in there. So it's only me and another waitress in there, so we're trying to take away his knives and then he's just cursing and calling us all dirty Germans and then he's, <laughs> he's taking the coffee cups and the saucers and he's just throwing them across the room and he's hitting the old people and he's hitting us and we're trying to take the silverware away and we're trying to like wheel the, um, the wheelchairs so other old people will get hit by what he's throwing. And so they had to call the police because it was a police report and then his emotional wife went in there and they had to interview her and, um, and let her know what her husband did and she just had a breakdown and it was a big mess and let's just say that um, they are no longer with us. The girls had to hide in the kitchen until the police came because the guy was going around with silverware, correct? Yeah. Pretty cool story, I thought. But I have an even better, well, not a better one, but just a story not involving old people. Do we want to say that for tomorrow? No, this is embarrassing for you. Oh, okay. Oh, this is a good one. Go ahead. Okay, so Josh and I are at Starbucks. This Starbucks right here. Right there. Yeah. Right. Can't see it. Starbucks right behind Baja Fresh. Yes. So we're in there, and Josh asked for a cup of coffee lined with caramel, and the lady thinks that he asked for a cup of coffee and a line of caramel. So she gives him a puzzle book, and he's like, no, a cup of coffee with caramel in the inside. So she says, okay. And then he has to learn her to ask her what time she gets off work tonight. No, 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 no. She gets no. all super creeped out, like he's asking her out on a date. She's like, what? Like, why are you asking? First off, she's having a crappy night. So I was gonna say, if, you, if, if I asked her when she's getting off work, so if she's getting off work soon, I'll be like, oh, good. Well, your your torture's about up. No, he just wanted to date her. That's probably That's true too. Blonde. She was she wasn't blonde. No, <laughs> no, but no, but the she wasn't getting off till midnight. So it's official. She's just a grumpy person. And he's gonna wait around till midnight to ask her on a date. Hence, yeah. we're still here. Exactly. Yeah. It's about twelve o'clock. For sure. <laughs> It was 11 o'clock just a few minutes ago. Well, it feels like a lot of time has passed that. Okay, and we're going to tell a story that has nothing to do with any of us, but a story that we learned tonight is just freaking sweet, yet they kind of shortened it, but legit. Okay, basically we were visiting this guy tonight, and he lived in a place that was overrun by their army. Argentina. 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 Oh. Somewhere. Yeah. And so the army would come into their houses and take whatever they wanted. And his dad had a Ferrari. And he had a friend who had a billion acres. So, yeah, so he got his Ferrari and dug a hole <laughs> and buried his Ferrari in the ground. Okay? Wait, in a and box. So, in a box. Like it wasn't so, just buried. So then, uh, so then the dad was trying to get out of the country. So he goes to the CIA guy, head of the uh, police. And he's like, I need passports and visas to get out of here. And he's like, well, what do you have to pay me? Because you, you don't have anything. I have everything. And he's like, well, I have a Ferrari. He's like, you don't have a Ferrari. He's like, yeah, I have a Ferrari. I'll give you the address if you give me the visa. So uh, a few days pass, and he gets his passports and his visas, and they're blank. 
and he gave the guy a, uh, the wrong address. And so then the CIA guy talked to them later. Dad's like, you try to screw with us, I'll screw with you. <laughs> and so then um, they made a deal. And uh, they actually got the Ferrari, moved it to a slaughterhouse, put a put like a covering on it, and put cow crap all over it. So no one would touch it. Okay? And so then that's where they kept the Ferrari. And then when they were on the ship, they telegrammed the guy where the Ferrari was. And so then the guy kept the Ferrari, and they got to go to the U.S. And years later... And, and yeah, years later, just a few months back, he went to a Ferrari show down in L.A. <clears throat> he was looking around, and his dad's Ferrari was there. The That's same the Ferrari, Ferrari the CIA agent got. And that is pretty crazy. That's, That's an awesome story. story. A guy you will probably Please. never meet, but it's supposedly a true story. Absolutely. We're going to end it with... A uh, riddle slash joke. Absolutely. What do you call a guy with no arms or legs floating in the water? That's the first one. Number two. What do you call a guy with no arms or legs on the road? No, not on the road. On the cement. On the cement. On the cement. Number three. What do you call a guy with no arms with no legs thrown up against the wall? Bingo. You, know these answers, please you gotta comment. Whoever comments with those answers, there's the three. You leave a comment and you guys will be well, notified. Thank you in our video. Yes. You will get a public thing. Yes, and and the dude that commented on our last video, you are a hero because you are officially so our first comment. Even though part of it was a little bit sarcastic and negative, we, we love, love you. you. And you can comment anytime. Basically become a friend. Anything thank else you. Yeah? I think we are finished. We didn't tell you a lot of stories about what happened today because today is basically boring for all of us. Regular, we'll tell you tomorrow. but we'll have some good stories tomorrow. All right, see you guys. Bye.